equivalent weight of any dam element, you require one Faraday charge. One Faraday charge is equal to charge carried by one mole of electrons. So answer is the number of electrons required for this process is one mole. Any difficulty is there, sir? No, sir. Go to question number 56. During the electrolysis, I'm just enlarging it. During the electrolysis of acidulated water, you know, water means H2O. In H2O, two hydrogens are plus one each. One oxygen is minus two. Total positive charges are plus two. Total negative charges are minus two. So for one mole, total positive charges are two moles. Total negative charges are also two moles. So if you want to completely electrolyze one mole of water, you have to pass two moles of electrons, first point. It means you have to pass a charge of two Faradays. It means one mole of water or 18 grams of water can be completely broken with two Faradays of charge. With that, you are getting H2, one mole, 22.4 liters. Oxygen, half mole. That's good. How much? 11.2 liters. So summary, through one mole of water, that is 18 grams of water. Sir, am I conveying sensor? Water, formula weight, H2O, 18. For 18 grams of water, if I want to break into hydrogen and oxygen, I have to give two moles of electrons charge. That is two Faradays of charge. For that two Faradays of charge, how much hydrogen I get at STP, STP or NTP, normal temperature pressure, I get 22.4 liters of hydrogen. How much oxygen I will get? 11.2 liters of oxygen. Now, what is the ratio between the volume of hydrogen and oxygen, sir? Hello? Hello, sir? Hello? Hello, are you able to hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, the hydrogen, if I am getting 22.4 liters, oxygen, I am getting 11.2 liters. So, ratio between the volume of hydrogen to oxygen is 22.4 by 11.2. That is 2. If I am looking at the masses, for every H2, I get 1 O. H2 means 2 grams. 1 O means 16 grams. For two Faradays, I am getting two grams of hydrogen and 16 grams of oxygen. What is the ratio between their masses, sir? Eight. This is hydrogen two grams divided by oxygen 16 grams. Two by 16 is equal to one by eight. One by eight is the ratio between hydrogen mass to oxygen mass. And the volume ratio, hydrogen volume by oxygen volume is 2 by 1. So overall, the ratio of y and x is 2 by 1 by 1 by 8. That is 16 by 1. Answer is 16. Should I do it on the board, sir? Hello? Should I do this on the board? Or I try to do here? Can I do here? Wait a minute. Wait, I will be able to do here. Sir, volume of hydrogen is equal to... Sir, can you see it clearly, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Volume of oxygen is equal to... You are passing through H2O, which is 18 grams. Two for a subcharge. The H2 means 1 H2 22.4. O means half O2, that is 11.2. So the ratio is 2. Now, if I'm looking at mass, mass of hydrogen is 2 grams. Mass of oxygen is half O2. Each O is 16. So ratio between their masses is 2 by 16, that is 1 by 8. Can you see it, sir? Hello? 2 by 16 means? Yes. 1 by 8. Sir, 22 by 11.2 means 2 by 1. 
they want to know ratio between a by b c by d 2 by 1 divided by 1 by 8 is equal to 2 by 1 into 8 by 1 that's equal to how much sir can you see it clearly hello yes sir so answer is how much sir hello answer is 16 can you see it clearly hello yes sir we can see i think some students are feeling difficulty sir kindly see water h2o molecular weight 16 each 16 grams of water has 2 grams of hydrogen and 16 grams of oxygen put together 18 when i break i get 2 grams hydrogen 16 grams oxygen 2 grams hydrogen means 22.4 liters at stp 16 grams of oxygen means 11.2 liters at stp simply ratio 16 now go to next question next question is what sir the equivalent conductance of one molar propanoic acid is given and that at infinite dilution is given ph of the propanoic acid ladies and gentlemen do we know that alpha degree of dissociation is equal to molar conductance at concentration c divided by molar conductance at infinite dilution do i know that formula sir yes, yes sir hello then this is equal to how much sir what is the what is the molar conductance at concentration c hello 10 power 10 ohms can you see yes sir 1 by 20 can you see it sir yes sir yes sir now do you know for any weak acid ha when it is dissociating to a small extent the h plus ion concentration is given by c alpha do we know that formula sir yes, yes sir i gave one example do you remember a boy is selling chocolates for every uh, uh, chocolate he licks 1 by 100 if he sells 200 chocolates how much he will eat 200 chocolates into 1 by 100 how much he is eating two chocolates do you remember that idea yes sir yes so c alpha is number of h plus ion concentration so h plus ion concentration here for a weak propanoic acid is c alpha c alpha means c is equal to 1 by 20 alpha means one molar concentration so 1 by 20 1 by 20 means how much sir sir 1 by 20 means 0.05 do you know that yes sir yes sir 0.05 so again 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 sir sir so i'll come again okay i'll come again no problem i'll go to board one sir is okay i can't go if i go to board you will be in trouble so slowly we do we are not in hurry are we in hurry no sir no. nobody is in urgency right no sir thank you sir i am taking strong acid ha if i take it to one mole because it is a strong acid it fully dissociate to give one mole h plus and one mole a minus anything that fully dissociates is a strong acid but if i am taking weak acid like acetic acid because it is a weak electrolyte it is partially dissociates if i take 1000 acetic acids only one acetic acid may break to give acetate ion and h plus remaining 99 999 remain undissociated so the h plus ions produced are only one acetate ion produced is one even if i start with 1000 acetic acid molecules is that fine hello yes. sir if i take 1000 acetic acids only one h plus is coming because acetic acid is a very very weak acid its a degree of dissociation is 0.001 if it is 0.001 0.001 into 1000 is equal to how much sir one how much sir one sir this 1000 how many acetic acids i have taken number of moles is concentration the extent to which it is breaking is alpha so always for a weak acid c alpha will give me h plus ions for a strong acid the c itself will give me h plus you understand the difference sir yes sir understand yes sir generally in our junior intercourse what we have done is 
in junior intercourse what we have done is i have taken 0.02 molar hcl what is its ph it is very simple problem if the uh, hcl is 0.02 molar h plus is also 0.02 because it is a strong acid fully dissociates then the yes. h plus is equal to 0.02 means you wrote it as 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 then you worked out ph as minus log of 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 then you said ph is equal to 2 minus log 2.3010 1.6990 you got the answer you are having for a strong acid there is no issue sir suppose you have taken sulfuric acid 0.005 molar what is its ph sir can you work out yes sir obviously for sulfuric log acid for every one is to so for you are getting 2h plus if it is 0.005 the h plus will be 0.005 into 2 that is equal to 0.01 Why? Because each H two S O four gives two H plus. Zero point zero five will give zero point zero zero five into two. This is equal to ten to the power minus two. Now P H is equal to minus log of ten to the power minus two. That is two. Yes sir, no sir. Yes, is it not? Sir. Yes sir. But unfortunately, yes, for a weak yes. acid like propanoic acid, if I take one molar, my H plus ions are much less than one molar. If its concentration is C, H plus is C alpha. Therefore, here H plus is equal to one by alpha is given as how much, sir? How much, sir? One by twenty. Sir, no, they have not given me alpha. Instead, they gave me molar conductance at concentration C, molar conductance at infinite dilution. Molar conductance ratio will give me alpha. Therefore. This is ten. Uh, this is two hundred. So ten by two hundred is one by twenty. One by twenty is equal to zero point zero five. That is the that is the alpha. H plus is equal well, to C alpha. C is one molar. So therefore, H plus n concentration is zero point zero five moles, which is five into ten to the power minus. Now pH is equal to minus, minus log. log of Five into ten to the power minus two. It is equal to two minus log five. Two minus log five is one point six nine nine. I should remember log five is equal to point six nine nine zero. So it is one point three zero one. Ten to the power minus two. It is pH is equal to minus log of five into ten to the power minus two. It is equal to two minus log five. Two minus point six nine nine. Can you see the answer, sir? Hello. Yes, sir. Now, is that answer there? Hello. Yes, sir. Option C. Sir, uh, let us go to next. Please move the screen up, sir. Move the screen up. Yep. Just sir, down. Fifty seven. We are looking at fifty seventh question. Move a bit down, sir. In this graph, sir, the variation in um, the cell potential is given, and the log Q is also given, sir. Can you see it? Z n plus C U plus two gives copper plus Z n plus two. The reaction portion is given Q, and the variation in cell with the log Q is given, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember a relation? E is equal to E cell minus of zero point zero five by n into log q. Do you remember this relation, sir? Yes. Oh. Yes, sir. In this problem, sir, they are saying E cell is one point one five nine one. E zero cell is one point one zero. They are asking me to tell you what is log. Read the problem carefully, sir. CU by e Z cell is given. E zero cell is given. Okay, sir. Are we very clear? Hello. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now my question is, can I find log Q? 
here n is equal yes. to yes if you take zero cell left side 0.0591 is equal to minus of 0.059 by 2 into log q sir what should be value of log q sir log q must be equal to minus 2 yes sir no sir this value is equal to this value yes sir, sir. Yes, yes, this value sir. is equal to this value is possible only when the log q is equal to minus two. Minus two by two into minus one is equal to plus point zero five nine. So log q must be equal to minus two. Can you see it, sir? Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. One minute. Zero point zero five nine is equal to minus of zero point zero five nine by two into log q. It implies log q must be equal to minus two. When it is possible, sir. When q is equal to ten to the power minus two. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. If q is equal to ten to the power minus two means it is equal to one by two. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. But what is q yes, equal sir. to? Jordan plus two by SCU plus two. Yes. Therefore. The ratio between Z n plus two by C u plus two in this case must be equal to one by zero. It is zero point zero one. Sir, please allow me to explain it once again, if you don't mind. Are we in hurry, please? Can I do it once no, again? No, sir. Please? Yes, sir. Sir, we have I, time to fix up next time. Yeah, I just want to see this, sir. Cell potential is always equal to standard cell potential. Minus of zero point zero five nine by n into log product ion concentration by reactant ion concentration. If I want to have more cell potential, the Z n plus two concentration must be as less as possible. C u plus two must be. As more as possible. Always, this is the rule. If you want to have more cell potential, left side ions, reactant ions, must be less. Uh, are we very clear, sir? The product ions, the Zn plus two is produced. Product ions must be less. Reactant ions must be more. That is first rule of the game. The reaction which you want to bring about here is. Zn plus Cu plus two gives Zn plus two plus Cu. Reactant should be less. This is no, this is product, sir. If you are putting product ion, Cu plus two cannot take electron from anybody. First, there should be zinc. You should lose electrons. Then you will get copper and Zn plus two. You start taking zinc. If you start taking product ion, what is the use? You should take a. You should take only reactant ion. You should not take what? Should not take. I I I look at this in a different way. You want to go for a party. In a party, there must be empty plates. After eating, this will be used plate which you throw. In the beginning, should you have used plates or empty plates? In the empty beginning. Plates. If if there are all used plates, can you eat food? No. no, sir. Therefore, remember the product ion should not be there much in this starting. The product ion is useless. See, first there should be zinc. It should not become Zn plus two. In the beginning itself, if I take Zn plus two, who will give electrons? In the beginning, I should take the reactant ion. Who wants to take electron? In the beginning, you should have. Students who want to eat food on empty plates. Now later on you will use it that will give electrons. Then copper plus two will become copper. So rule in any cell, sir, in the beginning you should not have product ions. You should have only what? Only what? Reactant ions. Are we clean? Yes, sir. Sir, in Q, Zn plus two by Cu plus two, Zn plus two must be less. Cu plus two must be more. Okay. When the cell is dead, 
then you will have when everybody has taken food then what will be left it is only used plates when everybody finished eating you have only used plates yes or no okay yes, sir. so at the end of the cell reaction when the cell is dead you have only product ions that is our rule of the game in this graph clearly we are seeing as the concentration of zn2 is increasing the potential is dropping yes sir no sir yes sir no log zn2 by cu2 when it reaches maximum value the cell is dead so you should read this graph very carefully and you should understand that in this problem they gave me the e cell value e zero cell value okay e cell value is decreasing and decreasing and decreasing when the equilibrium has reached the cell is dead when the cell is dead e zero cell is equal to minus of 0.059 by n into log k in this case e minus e zero cell okay sir because in this cell they gave me e value e zero cell value their difference they gave me in the graph form this is the difference this difference is difference between e cell and e zero cell can you see it clearly hello yes sir okay sir <clears throat> this is the highest value it is the lowest value it is the difference in log of q so e minus e zero cell is equal to this much they gave me e value e0 cell value they asked me to find q simply i noticed that e minus e0 is 0.059 which is equal to 0.059 by n into log q with minus sign this is positive this is minus it means that here n value is equal to how much sir here n value is equal to how much mm -hmm. when zinc is becoming zn plus 2 two electrons are lost when copper plus 2 is becoming copper two electrons are gained so here n value is how much sir hello two oh, sir so they gave me this very simple relation yes sir they are asking you what is q i can clearly see that this is equal to this only when log q is equal to minus 2 log q is equal to minus 2 means q is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 means it is 1 by 100 means zn plus 2 must be 1 and cu plus 2 must be how much sir 0.0 100 simple problem but a standard iit paper problem okay move the move the paper move 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 option c sir i don't know check your option c next sir. 59 problem i already solved and uploaded in youtube you see here the solubility product is equal to what is that value sir Minus of point nine five two divided by zero point zero five nine. I made a YouTube video on this problem. Now fifteen, you check up. Answer is B, I think. If you have doubt, we'll do it again. Pass. Go to next question. You always remember, solubility product can be found using that formula. Question number sixty. When a galvanic cell is working, sir, as time is passing, cell becomes useless. E cell decreases and spontaneity of the cell reaction decreases. Is true? Always reaction question. Q value will increase. It will not decrease. As Q value is increasing, the cell is dying. so the re the reaction quotient q value increases and c e cell decreases is true a is true c is true at equilibrium q is equal to kc ec is equal to zero so answer is what sir 
A is true, B is true, and D is true. What is the answer, sir? Sir, reaction quotient is increasing as time is passing. As reaction quotient is increasing, the cell is dying. Q value must be as less as possible. So answer is A, C, D. Option C. Please look at that question if you have a doubt. Whenever you have a battery, as time passes, battery voltage will drop. After some time, battery will become useless. You have to throw it out. As time is passing, what is happening? The zinc dabba cover will be eaten away. When the dabba is eaten away, it means zinc becomes zinc ions. Zinc ions and the copper ions number will decrease. Notice that Q value will always increase. As Q value increases, cell becomes useless. When the cell is dead, Q is equal to K. Answer is clearly A, C, D. That there be no doubt. Next, what is your next doubt, sir? Sir, if Q decreases, E will increase, sir. sir. Sir, what did you say? Come again. If Q decreases, E cell will increase. You can't make the Q to decrease. As time passes, Q will increase only. You can't help it. Why Q increases? Q is equal to ZN plus 2 by Cu plus 2. ZN plus 2 value automatically increase. Why ZN plus 2 value increases means zinc metal is giving the electrons. As it is giving electrons, ZN plus 2 will increase. As time passes, Q will increase. As Q value becomes equal to K equilibrium constant, cell ka life khatam. Okay. Every cell's life will be over after some time. But in secondary cell, you can recycle it. You can reverse it. That is a different story. Are you next? Sir, then uh, log ZN plus 2 by Cu plus 2 is there, sir. If Cu plus 2 is increasing, then... Uh... Sir, e cu plus two cannot. Sir, cu plus two cannot increase because you take originally hundred cu plus two, they stop taking electrons and become copper metal. Yes. Sir. So copper plus two will decrease. See, you made two kg biryani, you started eating. The fellows who have eaten number will increase, but can biryani quantity increase? No. Oh. Biryani quantity cannot increase. Why? Because. Mm, biryani is getting diminished as it is being used by you fellows. You understand? So you have taken originally 100,000, 10,000 copper ions. Copper ions are gaining electron and become copper metal. So the number of copper ions is decreasing. Originally you have not taken any zinc ions. The zinc metal is losing electron and becoming zinc ions. So as time passes, all the copper plus two will disappear. And all the zinc metal try to become ZN plus 2. Can you understand that? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I try to draw this once again. Sir, here you have taken new blue color copper ions, sir. There are only 10,000 ions, let us suppose. Here you kept a zinc metal, sir. The zinc is losing electron. Originally, there is no zinc ion. Now you got a zinc ion. And copper pressed to become copper. So, originally, there are 10,000 copper ions. There are zinc, zero zinc coppers. Originally, there are zero zinc ions. Now, suppose one zinc became zinc ion. Now, out of 10,000, one copper pressed will become copper. Now, let us suppose... 20 zinc became zinc ions. Now, what is the number of copper ions? Hello? 20 zinc became zinc ions, sir. How many copper will be there, sir? There are 10,000 coppers originally. Yes. There are zero zinc ions. But the zinc is losing electrons to become zinc ions. Copper is gaining electrons to become copper metal. Suppose now I got 20 zinc ions. If I got 20 zinc ions, how many coppers I got, sir? How many coppers I got? I don't know what difficulty you have. Let us see it very clearly. Let us take time to see it. 
I have starting only zinc. Zero zinc ions. Zero. I have originally copper plus two. Ten thousand. Zero copper atoms. Sir, now ten zinc became zero and plus two. By losing twenty electrons, those twenty electrons are taken by ten coppers to become ten copper atoms. Sir, when ta ten copper atoms came, how many are there, sir? Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Sir, the number of copper ions is decreasing as number of zinc ions is increasing. Increasing. Always zinc ions will increase. Always copper ions will decrease. In the expression, Zn plus two by Cu plus two, numerator is always increasing. Denominator is always decreasing. Denominator is decreasing. Decreasing. So the Q value will automatically increase. 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 After some time, there is no more zinc. Only zinc ions are there. Then what happens? Cell reaction will stop. Yes or no? Yes. Then we say cell is dead. So always, as Q increases, the cell potential, cell potential decreases. Decreases. Hmm. That's the rule. No, any more doubt? Can you answer question number sixty-three? In aqueous solution, all the metal electrode potentials which are negative, they can lose electrons to hydrogen and produce H two gas. Question number sixty-three. The metal that cannot be obtained by electrolysis of an aqueous solution of its salt is calcium, because calcium electrode potential is negative. First group, second group metals electrode potentials are negative. They cannot gain electrons in water. Water whose electrode potential is more, that will gain electron to become hydrogen gas. All first group, second group metals like lithium, sodium, potassium, beryllium, magnesium, calcium. These ions cannot gain electrons. It is the water that gains. However, the copper, the chromium, the silver, whose electrode potentials are greater than that of water, they can happily gain electrons, and they can be reduced in electrolysis. Are we clear on that, sir? Yes. Sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, there is a competition to gain electrons, sir. In the competition, who will win? Those who have more power. Who has more power? More electrode potential. More electrode potential means what? Positive electrode potential. See, copper plus two has positive electrode potential. Zinc plus two is not interested to take electron. Negative electrode potential. In water solution, if I take copper ions and zinc ions, first copper will gain electrons because its electrode potential is more positive. When copper has gained electrons, all copper became copper metal. Then the zinc will not take electrons. It is the water that takes electrons to become hydrogen. All the fellows who have positive electrode potential greater than that of water can take electrons in water solution to become metals. The first group and the second group metals, even aluminium, they cannot take electrons in water because they have lower electrode potential. Answer to question number sixty-three is calcium. By passing current through silver nitrate, you can make silver metal. By passing current through copper sulfate solution, you can get copper metal. By passing current through calcium chloride, you cannot get calcium because the water gain electron to become hydrogen. That's the point. Next slide. Next one. Sir, chromium also has a negative. Standard. Yeah, but 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 you compare it with water. When compare it with water, it is somewhat better. Water is also. See, you need to compare. I have a doubt about chromium, but we have to see it. It is not chromium. They give. Uh, there is a printer's devil, I think. It is not chromium. Maybe it is. 
a printer stayed. Actually, chromium also has negative potential. I had a doubt about that. Definitely calcium, but it is doubtful. There is a printer saved. Anybody after chromium, sir, then I will have to bargain. It is a mistake, I think. Chromium is uh, more than when compared to water, sir. Uh, you have to look at the values. Sir, calcium is the... With, with respect to water, whatever that has more electrode potential, can gain electrons. Answer is clearly calcium. Calcium has larger need to production. Yes, yes, okay, question number 64. Have we done? Sir, 63 both B and D, sir. I have to see. Definitely D. B, I have to think. I have to look at Some the values. Has, uh, more electrode potential than water, sir. But yeah, yeah. So I can't say B is correct. B is wrong. Definitely D is the answer. Sir, look at the question number 64. Can you see 64? Yes, sir. So whatever your doubts you ask me. Now we have no time. I have to close this session. So explain so, this one. So. Which one, sir? This one only. The question number? 64. So we try to do 64 and close this session. Sir, uh, the resistance of 0.2 molar solution of an electrolyte is 50 ohms. What is the relationship between the specific conductance of the solution is 1.4 Siemens per meter. So using these two data, can I find cell constant? Cell constant is equal to L by A is equal to K into R. So 50 into 1.4 is equal to the cell constant. Yes, sir? Hello? Yes. Yes, sir. Once again. I want to say you relation, sir. Write down. R is equal to 1 by K into L by A. Do you know this relation? R yes, K sir. is equal to L by A. Yes, sir. So you have to find the cell constant. Once you know cell constant, for the second cell, for the second experiment, the resistance of 0.5 molar solution of same electrolyte is 280. 280 is equal to it's a specific conductance into L by A. What is the L by A value, sir? Sir, what is the L by A value? Just on your form. Hello. From first one, R1 is equal to 1 by K into L by A. So, L by A is equal to R into 15 to 0 0.2. This is L by A value. Yes. Second cell, 280 yes, is sir. equal to K into L by A. Instead of L by A, 20. L by A is 50 into 1.4. Is that fine, sir? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, can sir. I find K, sir? So, 280 yes, into K is 15 to 1.4. Don't simplify. You can see. Simply, it goes, you know, 200 times. This cuts four times. Can you see it is four? Yes. Hello. Sir. Once you know K yes, value, sir. they are asking me the molar conductance of 0.5 molar solution of the electrolyte. Sir, molar conductance is equal to K into 1000 by concentration in molarity. Sir, what is the concentration in molarity? 0.5. 0.5. Sir, here K value they gave me in Siemens per meter. But molarity scale is there in moles per liter. It is meter, it is centimeter cube. You have to convert, no, sir? What is the K value we got? Molar conductance is equal. K value is how much, sir? 4. 50 into 1.4. 4, 4, sir. Wait, man. Siemens per meter, Gada. This per meter, ah. you have to convert into centimeter. How to do that, sir? You have to convert into, into centimeters. One. This per meter can be written as per meter can be written as by meter. Sir, instead of meter, what I can write, sir? Hello? By meter. Meter is equal to how many centimeters? Right. 
100 so i write 100 centimeters now if i cancel i get the answer sir two times hello yes sir yes. and sir and two 20 what is the answer now hello what is the answer sir 14 into 10 power 3 hmm? sir it is also asking in meters sir no, no. sir you got the answer what sir you got the answer equal to 20 into 50 into 14, right? Yes. Hello? Yes, sir. 20 into 14 into 50. 14 into? 50. 14 into? 50. Uh -huh. 50, 50. It is semen. 14. Centimeter square per mole. Now, you don't want in centimeters. You want it in what? Meet, meter. How to convert the centimeter into meter, sir? By 100. Centimeter, 100 centimeters is by 10 power 4. By 10, yes, sir. One ten centimeter point. is equal to 10 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. Is that right? Yes. No, no sir. 100 centimeters equals to 1. 1 meter square is equal to 100 into 100. Yes or no? 10 power 4. So, you have to divide with 10 power 4. Yes, sir? Yes. Sir. If you multiply, you will be 1. getting 1.4. Huh? 1.4. So, if you simplify, you get the answer. Should we do it, sir? But the answer is not there, no, sir. It will be there. You did a mistake. In we have done a mistake, man. In our calculation, there can yes, be a mistake. Sir. We have to do it carefully. I am doing it on the board. Now, you tell me this problem. We will do on the board. Here, there is confusion. Hello. Now, I am going to board. Hello, you, you convert me into host. I will take this problem on the board. Otherwise, okay, here I can't, so it, it creates confusion. Yes, sir. Sir, we have another class. I will close it quickly. I will close it quickly. Wait, you have to convert me into host, man. One second, sir. Huh. You, I will do it very quickly, man. Answer, answer. Hmm. Yes, sir. Why it is taking so much time, man? Time is sir, not there. Already done, sir. You are, you are the host. Yes, sir. See, R1 is equal to how much, sir? Hello. R1 is equal to 50 ohms, right? Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. K is equal to 1.4 Siemens per meter, okay? And now, RK is equal to L by A. Is equal to 50 into 1.4. L by A value you got. Case 2. R2 is equal to how much, sir? Sir, in case 2 1, they get, they get 0 0.2 mole, sir. K is equal to how much? And now, K is equal to... K is equal to what, sir? K is equal to what? G star by R. So equal to 0 0.25 in that sir. Yes, is that fine? Yes, sir. 0 yes, sir. Okay, sir. You have to remember the relation, sir. G star is L by A. So K is equal to what, sir? G star by R. You got it, sir? Hello? Yes. Time is ticking away means we are on time. 50 into 1.4 by 280. Molarity is in moles per liter. Here K is given in Siemens per meter. Is that fine, sir? Yes, so sir. I will convert into, I will write it as Siemens by meter. 
based on meter i will convert into centimeters centimeters how can i do it sir into 1000 into 10000 ah, na 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters okay okay sir okay sir yes sir okay sir now 50 into 1.4 by 280 into 100 Into thousand by what is the molarity, sir? Half. Point. So five. now if I cancel, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. So it is how much, right? Hundred. Five hundred. Ten by two hundred into point five. This is equal to fifty into ten by twenty into five. Is equal to. Can you, are are we getting confused, sir? It is five. Are we seeing clearly? Yes. 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 So molar conductance is equal to five in the units of water, sir. Five semal centimeter square per equivalence or mole water. Mole per. Sir, now this is for meter, sir. Now I want to answer in meters. Sir, so this is for meter, sir. Now nah, here we have converted man in centimeters. You, you convert into centimeters. Here meter you convert into centimeter. You okay. have to take centimeters only when concentration is in molarity. Molarity means moles per liter. Liter means thousand centimeter cube. Whenever concentration is in molarity, your uh, specific conductance should be taken in semen per centimeter. Five into ten power minus four, sir. Answer. So now I am I am trying to show you. It is five semen centimeters square. Is the centimeter what I can write, sir? Ten power minus four. So five into ten to the power minus four semen meter square per equivalence. Is it fine? Yes. So here the problem has a two tricks, sir. First, you should take the resistance and K value, find the cell constant. Then you use the same cell constant value and find the K. The K is to be converted into molar conductance, and finally, molar conductance should be expressed in Siemens meter square per equivalence. So there are three links in this that make the problem very tough. Uh, but usually, they give only one such tough problem. Every problem cannot be tough. So you need not have to worry. Have you received the idea? Hello. Yes. yes, sir. Thank you very much. We will be uh, talking tomorrow about new topic in the same chapter that is about uh, dry cells and all. Thank sir, you. Sir, tomorrow much. can you recap uh, conductivity? No. After completing this, we spend time for revision. Okay. First, we close it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.